In this lesson, I will explain to you state space search, which is one of the most important topic in artificial intelligence. But as usual, I will try my best to make it as easy as possible. So actually what we do in artificial intelligence, we try to solve the problem precisely so we can analyze easily. Simply you can say how to solve the problem. Definitely when we solve, when we start our problem to solve it, there should be some starting point. There should be some final state or our goal or end state. So I have written these things here that is start with the initial state. Goal is to reach the final state. All intermediate successive states should be considered and then consider cost and time. I will explain to you all these points with the help of three different examples. And here is the tuple how you can write down S is, e S is equal to that S A. What is this A? S means S is the set of all possible states. I mean all possible routes or all possible solution to solve the problem. A means set of all the possible action means which action we have to select. And these are the results, all the results and cost, cost or you can take time. If we are considering cost, cost should be minimum. And if we are considering time, time should be minimum. Right. So I will first explain with the help of few example. So suppose these are my numbers and my goal is that I have to start. This is my starting point. This is my goal or end point and I have to reach here. So what are the different routes? First is we can write down in ascending order, write 2, 4, 12, 14, 18, 20. This is the easiest way. It will take less time. But we have some other ways as well. This is our starting point, right? Then we can write down 4, 14, 18, 12 and 20 as it is. Only we are bringing one by one. Then is the 4. So 2, 4. 2, 4 and then we have to bring this 12 here because we are trying to write down in ascending order. Rest of the things are okay. So see these are the intermediate successive states in order to reach to 20. Take another example. Suppose you want to reach to Niagara Falls from Toronto. Right, Niagara Falls from Toronto. One way is directly we can go from the highway, one way. Second way is first we will go to suppose Hamilton and then from Hamilton to Gr Grimsby. These are different cities there and then from Niagara Falls. Third way is first we will go to Mississauga suppose then from Brampton and then Brampton to we will take another route to Niagara Falls. Right. Fourth, suppose we will take, we will go to first Oakville, then we will go to Brampton, then we will go to Hamilton and from Hamilton we will reach there. So see there are four, I am just considering four different routes. So these are the all possible sets, S here, all possible solutions. Then is our A, A means set of all possible action which action we will consider we have to minimize our cost and time as well suppose right suppose this is the shortest way from this hamilton whatever this route is suppose this is the shortest way when we will give these four routes to our system system will check all these routes and then system will think that this is Though this is the shortest way, but maybe you have to pass from different towns. That's why your speed will be low. Your speed will be low, so it will take much time. We have to reduce our time. So system will not give this route to us. This one, this is the highway. In highway, definitely we have a high speed. If we have a high speed, definitely we have, it will take less time. So system will give us, this is the optimal solution for us to reach Niagara Falls from Toronto. Instead of this, though this is the shortest, but here the speed is low, so it will take more time. 
right i hope the concept is clear now take one more example what i says we have to precise our problem then we, it will be very easy for us to analyze this is suppose one game right this one so what i am making here i am making 3 by 3 board suppose i will write down 1 2 3 4 8 9 10 5 6 and 7 this is my starting point i have to start from here and suppose i say uh 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 1 this should be my goal state i have to start from here and i have to arrange these cards in a way so i need this output so for this you have to make some branches right directly we cannot reach here there will be definitely some intermediate states so what we have to do first we will arrange this so you have to decide how we can arrange this right so there are different ways first is this is the blank space right we can take blank here and we can move to here so it will be 1 Three instead of this blank, we can write down two, and rest of the numbers are same. This is my first way to arrange this. Second is my second way is that this blank I can move here, and then this eight will be here. So rest of all the things will be same. Only this eight will move here. Now we have a blank space there. Similarly, we can make one more output. from this that we can move this blank here and bring this four here so it will be 1 2 3 4 8 5 6 7 right one more here same thing what is the last one last is that we can bring this blank here and take up bring six here so it will be 1 2 3 4 6 and 8 and then 5 and 7 then we can check whether we have this output or no no we do not have this output again we have to make this branches so this this time there are three routes right what is the three different routes we can take this blank here bring one here we can take blank here this we can take blank here but we can not take blank here right so we have to find out the optimal solution or our goal so if there are two different things in order to find out the solution one is the informed search other one is the uninformed search search uninformed search means we do not have any clue where to go we are just making branches just like again take the example of toronto from niagara falls if we do not know the route right from which route we have to go we will go each and every street of toronto right we are going mississauga toronto brampton hamilton burlington right different thing so it is time consuming uninformed search is time consuming because time increasing exponentially and this one we will consider non polynomial and here the complexity factor is order of b raised to power d b what is b b is the branching factor see how many branching i am taking and then this is the depth how depth we are going same thing branching factor we are going to each street of the of toronto to find out where is niagara fall if there is no information this is called the blind blind information right blind search and then if we are using the informed search means here we have information we can ask to someone we want to go to the niagara falls please guide us which is the short, shortest route so definitely he or she will tell you go to the take highway and reach there in one and a half hour from toronto to niagara falls right so this is all about space state search in next lesson i will explain to you in detail what is the difference between informed search and uninformed search so i hope space state search is clear to you and these four points 
are also clear to you in a space state search we have to start from some starting point we have to find out our destination by using different routes and here cost or if we are considering time should be minimum so please practice it subscribe to my channel like and share also my channel and thanks for watching